to make things more clear, there are things that you can do. For example, you can adjust these. So if you push them, you're gonna see that that number three pops up. Yes, that's position number three. You can go to position number two or position number one. All I'm doing is just pushing in and pushing outside. So I'm gonna push out for number three, number two, and number one. I'm just pushing it in. I'm pushing out to make it wider. It depends. So select whatever makes sense to you. For me, it's about number two. And see these bands right here? Most likely you're gonna have to loosen them up or even make them tighter, depending on what fits best for you. For me, it's around there. So I'm just gonna, there we go, make it bigger. Now, something I wanna point out is never to clean your lenses with any liquid. But anyways, just never touch the lenses. Now down here below, you're gonna notice this is for your volume. So those are your volume keys. And on the side, you're gonna charge it up here. This other side will be for your power. Now this part right here can come off. So you can actually just grab it. And if you push on it from here, it's just gonna pop out. So see this cover? That's how you take out the cover from your Oculus or MetaQuest 2. So that's how the cover looks like. And you can pop it back in. So to pop this back in, all you have to do is just place it on the top, give it a nice push, align it. As long as you align it, it's just gonna pop in pretty easy. And there we go, you're gonna hear those clicks. That means you did the job and it's all good. And most likely for taking this out is because you wanna place that sweat guard, which is the first thing that I suggest doing. Even if this is your first time using one, you should. So we're just gonna pop this out and here's the sweat guard that we got. So we're just gonna place it on top. Now these are always made with silicon and you do get one with your Oculus. I guess they should refer to it as Meta, but they've been known as Oculus for such a long time. Plus the branding is still there on so many boxes that are being sold as Meta, but it, it, it's the same thing after all. It's just the branding that they're changing. Now here we go. Just keep putting all the way around, keep matching up those corners, and that's it. That's how you can place this silicon cover over it, which will help with the sweat. So we're just gonna place this back. We're just gonna pop it in right in here. And there we go. So that's how it looks like. That's what it's supposed to fit. And we're all ready to use your Oculus. So in order to download the Oculus app, we just have to go into our app store. In our app store, we have to go into search and we can actually even type meta. So here we go, just meta quest Two search and there's the Oculus app. I don't know when they will change the app's name. I just don't think it's gonna be something that fast, but here we go, that's the app that we need to download. So we just press on get. This is a 100% free app and here we go. It's pretty small too. So if we click on it, we're gonna be able to see down here below it's gonna tell us the size. So the size for this, it's only 122 megabytes. So right now that I just downloaded, I can just open it up. And of course we have to press okay. However, it's just easier to tap on this first option so that's exactly what we're gonna do. And right now it's just gonna run us through the whole setup. Like I mentioned before, since we already created a Facebook account and we have also an Oculus account, it will tie things together for you anyways. So it will take you here and it will tell you that you already have a username because you already did that. So at this point you could edit your username if you wanted to, but what you should do is just tap on the top where it says your name, tag and design in this case, and we're just gonna choose a picture that makes sense to us. So I'm gonna choose my Facebook picture right there, save that up. You can choose anything you like. You don't have to choose your Facebook picture and then just continue on. You can add any friends that are using Oculus as well, or you can just go on, just tap on continue. And once again, choose whatever makes sense to you, whatever you are interested in. So for me, it's shooting games and that would be it really. So I'm just gonna continue on. You can go ahead and add your credit card or just add PayPal. What I suggest doing is adding PayPal because it's just a little more safe. It's a safety net. So let's say something 
weird happens, you could contact PayPal to fix that error and not just Oculus. So maybe you have a problem with Oculus Store, you don't really have to just contact Oculus Store for some customer service, but you can also just contact PayPal and they usually take care of business really quick. So that's what I suggest doing, but you can go ahead and enter your credit card information or just skip this at this time. Now for most of you, you will want to purchase some awesome games. So I highly suggest adding PayPal, but again, you can always skip that and you can skip on the bottom. But anyways, as I mentioned, you can always skip. So right now that you have an account and uh, you downloaded the app, I'm gonna show you this on an iPad, same thing on a phone, any phone for that matter. Once you're on this screen, you're gonna choose Quest 2. And then we're just gonna select continue on and it's gonna look for the headset. So at this point, just turn on your headset. It's actually better if you had it turned on. On the side, we're gonna see this button, just hold on to it and we're gonna see this light turning on. So that's how you turn on your Oculus for the first time. And if you put on your Oculus, and just focus in on the app itself, it's gonna ask me for a five digit code to enter. So if I put on my Oculus, I will be able to see that five digit. And I can't actually record that, but you will be able to see it once you put on your Oculus. So in my case, it's 348085. That's the code that I was able to see once I put on my Oculus. And it's gonna tell you right there on your screen that you should have your controllers with you. So you can see which one's right and which one's left. But right now it's pairing the two. So again, we're just pairing the headset with the app, which is perfect. And then all we have to do is just put on the headset to finish off the entire setup. So go ahead and do that. But right now you're all done with this video. Now make sure to watch the manual that I got, which tells you everything you need to know about right here, your headset. However, this is it for your setup video. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.